I'm almost there. I can see Bosch over there. Wait, tell me what happened. Come oh, on. Bruno, I'm so glad to see you here. You won't believe what happened. We used to make videos about this SCP slide, right? There were even two parts of it. This time we were doing an experiment. Safik wanted to find out what would happen if he climbs up there, and then he was gone. You gotta be insane to use that slide. It's the most dangerous slide in the world. So that's not even the end of it. A jump tried to rescue Safik and ended up in the SCP dimension. Then Jeff appeared and he got Safik out of it. I overpowered Jeff and took Safik to the hospital. But Artem stayed in the SCP dimension. I don't know what's really going on with him right now. He needs our help right away. So you're saying that Arshnip is still trapped inside that SCP slide? Yeah. Oh man. Okay. We'll save Artem and Cartoon Cat is gonna help us with that. <laughs> Hello there, Pasha. Hello. Who are you anyway? What the hell do you mean? I'm Cartoon Cat. What are you doing here? And what am I doing here? Listen, we really need your help because our friend got stuck inside the SCP slide. I don't want to deal with your puny human problems. Cartoon Cat, come on, help me out here. Fine. Pasha, what should I do? All right, let me explain. You have to climb up that slide over there and slide down while lying on your stomach face forward, hands backward, and then you'll get to the SCP dimension when you have to find Archon there and help him out. I thought you just want me to go to the store. I don't want to get into that SCP slide. Well, I could have gone to the store myself. Come on, there's not a second to lose. Archon may be in danger there. But I have something that will help you a lot. It's a backpack with a red subscribe button. Hey, easy, easy. I don't like these red buttons. I don't like them either. That's what this all about SCP slides cannot digest the gray buttons. But they really like these red subscribe buttons, so you'll just take that backpack, jump off with it, and get into the SCP dimension. And once you're there, in order to get out, you'll need to make these red buttons gray, and our subscribers will help you with that. All right, I'll take care of it myself, and you stay here and keep an eye out. All right, that's it, you're done, slide. Cartoon Cat, just promise me that you won't come back without Arto. Yeah, yeah. Cartoon Cat has a code of honor, and if I promise to do something, then I will do it. So today we're not going back home without Irish now. Hey, Sly, take these red buttons. Well, how was that? Was it good? Well, I don't like them either. And now there's another candy for you. Catch me. I'll save you, Artom. It looks like Bruno just vanished. That means he got to the SCP dimension, and our plan worked out. Man, I hope he helps our time to get free soon, and they go back to our dimension together. In the meantime, I'll just stand here alone again and waiting for the guys. Damn! There is the backpack! Oh man, holy crap, I thought this slide was much smaller! It stinks in here, man! I'm gonna head back now. Oh, ow, you're too get. We have to save Artyom. I brought you here for a reason, remember? Yeah, <laughs> Bruno, I don't owe you a thing. I don't have to save your friends, too. Hey, Cartoon Cat, we're sharing one body, okay? So my problems are your problems now. Ah, Bruno, it's such a nuisance to be in this SCP slide. By the way, guys, look at all these different kinds of food here. There's Snicker bars here, and candies, and there's even sausage here. But where did it all come from? Okay, I got better things to do right now. I mean, I love to eat, but I really like to get out of here as soon as possible. All I want right now is to head home straight away. Okay, there we go, Red Buttons. We have a serious mission here. Here, by the way, you may notice that this slide looks different inside than it does from the outside. There's a way in and a way out, and some other ways leading to some other places. So when you jump into this slide, it's very easy to get lost here. Maybe that's why Artyom got stuck here, because, guys, this is... <sighs> Alright, okay, okay, oh, come on, come over here. Uh, this is, this is Artyom's flashlight. This slide is so deep and bottomless, it looks almost like a cave, you know? There's even more cave writings here, so if you want more cave exploring videos, then be sure to hit the like button so that Arjnip sees that you need this. Okay, let's keep going. Hey, Arjnip! 
Who's that here? Well, looks like whoever was here is gonna remain here forever. I hope it's not our job, but if you want to scare me, SCP Slime, I'll be a hundred times scarier myself than all these scarecrows of yours. You cannot scare me with that. You got that? Okay. Yeah. Let's look around here. Who else is here in this cave? It's pretty damn easy to get lost in here. And if it wasn't for my felon instinct, I'd be lost already for sure. So it's understandable why these people are eventually getting lost here. That's not surprising at all. As for me, I know my way around a place. Hey, 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 show it to the subscribers. Guys, look, it looks like some kind of a ritual was going on here. What could be going on here? Why are these candles in here? Whoa, it's a trace of blood. Yeah, very fresh blood. What could be going on here inside this SCP slide? Apparently something very bad. I don't know. Here, you guys see a lot more than we do, and you tell me what's going on here. Ah, okay, I don't want to stay here for too long. It smells really bad in here, and it's got a really bad vibe to it. Let's move over there. Hey, SCP slide, I'm already inside you, all right? So you're screwed. Hey, Slidey! Slidey, Slidey! It's about to be one hell of a ride, you hear me? <laughs> ah, what does it take here? Hey, guys, guys, there's something written over here, but I don't understand what it is. Damn, it's too bad cats cannot read. What's going on here? My cat's eyesight makes everything blend in. These orange letters, to me, they just blend right in with this yellow crust on the inside of the SCP slide. I don't get it. Well, okay. I think there are smart guys watching this who will tell me what is written here. Maybe there is something very important for us, right? Anyway, I'm not afraid of anything. Well, almost. So I'm ready to proceed further. There is something written here too, look. There are bigger letters here. Yeah, I'm kind of figuring it out, so... I... Am... When... What is that? Some kind of an eight? I don't get it. What is written here? Some fool left it, man. Come on, follow me, give it up, what are you doing? First of all, here's a dead end. Second, look, is this someone's mattress? Looks like somebody slept here. Oh, there's something else in here. Uh, 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 guys, look, this is some kind of dirty sweatshirt left by some scientist or something? I don't get it. Yeah, <laughs> nah, I hate scientists. Scientists did experiments on me. They left me with not quite the fondest memories of my childhood. So what else is in here? There's some more paperwork, but you cannot really see anything because of the blood. Right, let's take a look around. Michael Jones, 1996. Okay, these documents are more than 20 years old, guys. Today is the 143rd day since I got here. That means our team was not the only one trapped inside this slide. As far as I understand, this food somehow appears here occasionally. I hope it doesn't stop coming, although sometimes there's no food for days. I heard him a couple of days ago. Heard who? I'm the only one here. What's wrong with you? Hid under the mattress and was lying like that for hours. I hope I can find a way out. I can't be here anymore. Is that him still under the mattress? Damn. Who's that over there? Hey, you! Well, apparently I imagined it, but you know, after reading this Michael's letter, I figured out where all this food is coming from. It's coming from out there, from the entrance. Apparently children who visit the playground and have no idea what this light is accidentally drop their candies and sweets, and all of that just falls down here and gets tripped too. This means, most importantly, that Artem could still be alive because he had this food supply. If some Michael could survive for 143 days, then why can't Arishnev survive for a week? So let's go and find this fool Arishnev already! <laughs> yeah. Why did you disturb me in the first place, Arishnev? I was just sitting in my camp having a good time, and then there you are with your dumb videos. Alright, I'll find you anyway! You know? There are some sections inside this slide where you almost can't get through. Even though I've been to a water park and there were some slides, I gotta tell you that, this one is just an embarrassment. What's this over here? What is this? What is this? 
What is this? That's a glue left for us, don't you think? There, and there. Why write I'm there and draw two different arrows? At least could have left me some kind of a hit. Guys, well, I'm kind of stumped over here. I think whether I should proceed this way or not, where do I go now, left or right? At least could have left some hint for me. Oh man. But I have you, my subscribers. That's right. Guys, can you see any clues? Which side is Artem in? Tell me, please. No way. Thank you. You told me that the arrow that leads to the right also points at the letter A. Why didn't I notice it right away? What an idiot, huh? So now we're going right. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I don't know what I'd do without you, my dear subscribers. Thanks to what you've told me, at least now I know where to go. You see, it's because of the stench which is all over this slide. I've almost lost all my felon sense. What do we have here? That's... Yeah, shh. I'd recognize that smell anywhere. That is Arishnev's backpack. The one who dragged me out of my camp. Uh, I should have eaten him back then. Now I wouldn't have been wandering through all these caves. Uh, uh, oh, oh, man. Oh, look, look, hats and pockets don't give a damn about anything. Hey, Irish them, Irish them. Uh, uh, why did you bring him here, huh? Why did you bring him over here? Go away. Get out of here. Get out of the way. Uh, Boss is here. I've got me in here. And Bruno forced me to go look for you. And you're so ungrateful. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, all right, let's get out of here. I've got for you. Don't you get it? I don't remember anything. Something disappeared inside that SCP slide. And so then I jumped in after him. I even had red buttons with me for the subscribers to turn them into gray ones so that I would be able to get out of here. Then I met different people in here, even some little boys and girls. And these are children who had all been eaten by the SCP slide, you guys. And there also was some scientist like running around here without a robe. Isn't his name Michael by a chance? Well, yeah. He's a weird dude. Does that mean this Michael has been living here for over 20 years? Okay, we're not gonna sit here for another minute. Let's move on. Wait, 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 hold on. You don't understand. We just can't get out of the SCP slide because I've seen the incarnation of the SCP slide, you guys. And it's even worse than all of its insides. Look, I've only been here a week, but I realized a long time ago that there's no way out of here. It's not so bad here either. The main thing is to find a power source because the batteries are rarely being dropped and SCP slide eats them for some reason. By the way, look here. Now, ooh, ooh, cool, right? Two days delivery. What's that? Hey, hey, give me that. Give me that now. The yeah, Milky yeah. Way, it has milk. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, you greedy bastard. Yeah, yeah. Listen to me. If Safi got out of here somehow, why can't we get out of here too? I know where the exit is. Safi was dragged out of here by Jeff. These SCP monsters somehow cooperate with each other. Look, there's a lot of bats in here, and I've even seen a couple of them. You're a cat. You can handle it. Look, you either come with me or I go alone. Are you sure you can find your way out of the SCP slide, huh? I realize that this video is turning out to be very super cool and you guys are crazy about it, but to be honest, I regretted jumping into that slide a little bit because there's no end to it, you guys. Everywhere you go, there are either bats or Michael running around in his underpants, you know. Look, Gwen, you're whining already. Let's just go towards the exit. I uh, think it was in there. So just hold my hand and don't let go, okay? Give me the flashlight. Let's get you out of here, you damn moron. Don't get distracted, stay in focus. There's a lot of bets around. You guys, I don't even know how we managed to get in the side of this place here. Please, if you've been watching this all the way until this point and you really like this kind of video, then next time I'll agree to go into the cave only if there are 50,000 comments underneath this video. Come on, let's move. How much farther do we need to go, huh? What's that? What's going on? Uh, oh, what's going on? Where's let's go back. Hey, let's go back, go back. Go back. You weren't afraid until well, right now. Well, now I am. Damn it. Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> what are you doing in my mouth? Hey, Artem, stop it. Film him. What should I be filmed for? You've filmed me so many times. Haven't you seen me enough? That's me, Bruno. That's me. 
I still don't get it. Do you have control over Cartoon Cat or not? Well, it's not that I control him, but we get along somehow, you know. Hey, what was that all about? What do you mean? About all that. Couldn't see anything after. And then we wake up here. What was that about? It's just that inside this slide, there's an incarnation wandering around. Like a soul, you mean? Well, kind of. And if it finds us, it'll, ki it'll kill us immediately. So let it not find us. Let's just get out of here. Let's go over, over there. There's a little corner. Look, can you... I mean, I'm certainly glad that you're back, but really, is there any way you could bring the cat back here? So you're not happy with me anymore? Bruno, of course, I'm happy with you being here, but it's the SCP slide. Only Cartoon Cat could somehow compete with it here. I mean, Jeff managed to get out of here with Sophic, so Cartoon Cat might do the same. Yeah, he got Sophic out somehow. Do you know what it does to the other ones? It's sitting and grabbing people. The first time I came in here, I thought that it was just some nonsense, like a moth sprouting or something on it, but it was doing the same thing to people. People were hanging on the walls, and there's still one at the end of the hallway, and there was this mold sprouting through them. You really don't want to mess with it. It's better to keep something, you know. Well, you know what? Cartoon Cat will obviously be of more use here. So you stay here and I'll see if I can talk to Cartoon Cat. I need to have a little chat with him. I'm coming with you! You'll never leave this place. You'll dissolve inside me. I will deploy your bodies. No way! You won't have it, monster! <laughs> I don't want to die inside your body, so I will help you. Aw, oh, come on, you're just getting in my way all the time, and you wanted to kill me anyway. Now is not the time to talk, and yes, I really don't want to save your body, but it's still better than just dying, so I will give it your power. What is this power? Why is it in you? This power will destroy you once and for all! You can't destroy me anyway. I am everywhere. I'll keep eating people and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Are you okay? Hey, 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 keep your eyes open. I've spent all my energy on that SCP monster. Look, when, when you found him, he seemed to weaken. For sure, I think so. A portal opened up there. I saw it. Come on. You helped me out. Now I'll get you up too. It's that way, I guess. Anybody here? Bruno, are you here too? I guess so. Where are you? I don't know. It's so wet and damp here. Let's try to somehow remove the bag from my head. Oh, guys, this is some bull crap. As you can see, we are tied up with bags in our heads. We are in an empty pool, and it seems that it will all be found now. So I'm thinking that that's going to be like that, you guys, right now. Maybe a little bit. Sapphic! Sapphic! What, Bosco, is that you? Guys, are you here too? And where, why are we in this gen pool? I have no idea, I was just playing standoff. Then it all went dark and here I am. Guys, my arms and legs are strapped with zip ties. Arto, my hands are also tied. Only I have some kind of rope. Ah, man, and I have damn duct tape, which is already stuck to my hair and my body's dead. Let's just calm down, you guys. Right now, we need to think of at least some way to get out of this situation right now. Arto, look! You guys, I don't know how we ended up in this empty pool, but someone obviously wants to give us some help and give us a chance out of here. In fact, I would have thought that this is Pasha Shirai, but considering that he's sitting next to us, I guess it's not Pasha. Here, we've been given wire cutters and some pliers, a screwdriver, a knife, 
A plastic one, though. And a pencil. Let me try to open you with this. Maybe it will go better with a pencil. Please be careful. Oh, great. I have free hands now. So now I'll free my legs and then I'll be able to free you all, guys. Wait for it. Oh, okay, must be duct tape. So I'm going to use this plastic knife. Well, it somehow is going great. Oh. Hey, listen, Basha. Hey. No, just stop pulling. We can keep it like that. Well, okay, let's just leave it like that. Guys, could you really try and untie me, huh? I still forgot my straps on here. Oh, my God, guys, what a relief it is when your hands are free. Oh, okay, let's look around, you guys. As you might have already guessed, this is who will be the last to get out of the filling pool challenge. And today, we will be in this pool just for 12 hours. That is filling up, and we need to get out of it. Oh. Whoa! Whoa, it's starting to fill up! Is the water warm or what? It's freezing, just touch it! Oh damn, it's really cold! Arjun, the pool is being filled up with water really fast and it seems to me that very soon the water level will just be over here! Guys, I don't know how long we can last in this pool right here because only cold water is flowing from these taps, you guys. Can we stop it? I don't know. Why does it keep on flowing out of this tap just cold? What is it you have working there? Guys, there is some kind of challenge above us. It looks like it needs to be completed so that the water continues to flow. As far as I understand, this is a task on who will be the one to burst. Guys, look, someone also gave us these two Nerf guns with toothpicks. Most likely, it will allow us to hit the balls. So how about a little competition? One who hits the most balls will be the top shooter on this wet west. There's just only, only six attempts, no more. Hey, Bruno, give me the gun, all right? Ah. I missed it. Now I think you need to get closer. First try. Hey guys, I'm a pro at this, don't you see? Look at that. Doesn't count. Let's try, you guys. Did you see how this toothpick flew off of the balloon? This is totally unfair, you guys. Now it's time for you to have a taste of these balloons. Whoa! Whoa! Scored two points already! You guys, have you also noticed that Bruno started somehow really well and now he's just kind of screwing this up? Okay, one more cartridge. Boom! Four balloons got busted. I replaced the weapons and now I'm totally ready to hit. Missed it. You guys, it seems to me that Pashka will never be able to hit any of it. <laughs> so it may be, oh yeah. <laughs> Guys, I've got two more hits. I also get two, it seems. And I have two by two, four in total. And it turns out Bruno is the best shooter in the wild, wild west. Yeah, well, I mean, I won this challenge, but did I actually win anything or was just like... No way, they gave you this delicious hot coffee right in this cool pool. Man, apparently the one who wins the challenges will receive some sort of bonuses from the operator. It's literally so hot that I can stay here for at least one more hour. What? Oh, something's going on. Oh Dad. my god, water is beginning to fill up a pool again, you guys. Maybe we can try your tactics. It should stop that way. Bruno, let's follow the rules. All right, the last one to get out will get a thousand bucks. And during the challenge, the water sometimes stops filling up this pool. Well, there is a period when it fills up with just chillingly ice water, you guys. So all we got to do is just wait for the next challenge. Thank you. 
I do not know how much time has passed for us already, but the pool continues to fill us all up. Here, it is filled for about two sections, you guys, and here, we still have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve more, you guys. It has filled up exactly two sections out of twelve. So, how many sections do we have left? Be sure to write up in the comments for us. Considering that a full pool is somewhere around that level, right up to the neck, I don't know how to swim at all. And it looks like nothing, the wall would be just up to the neck, but the cold water makes my legs very cramped, and that's why I won't be able to stand on them normally at all. I'll just fall and start drowning. The water has stopped. The pool is no longer being filled up, you guys. And that means it's time for the second challenge of today. Hey guys, I didn't know. I was just taken away from school, damn it. I didn't have any time to change clothes. I don't have a change. And if all these damn competitions continue now, then I'll stay without dry pants completely. I'd better take them off right away. I'll probably support Pasha in this matter. Let me help you, man. Come on, let me help There's you. There's no need. Let me help you, let me help you. You think I can take them? Oh, oh. Damn, I could have taken them off myself. Bruno, why did you push me? I just wanted to help. I really just wanted to help you, man. I was just taking off my pants, Artyom. I could do it myself. Now we're all in this cold liquid because of you. Damn, you guys, I think Bruno and I have the least chance of winning now because all of our clothes are really wet right now. We can't win, we can't. I gotta dry them now. Ugh. This coffee is just a salvation in this ice bath. Can I have some, man? Yeah. Just a sip. Guys, did you know that in order to grow coffee beans for just one cup of coffee, that you need 200 liters of water? Do you know what's much easier? What? It's easier to scroll to the bottom of this video and click on the red subscribe button. Of course, if you haven't done it already for us on this channel. Well, it seems to me that it's really much easier. Just two clicks and you're subscribed. No need to grow anything. Guys, I don't understand. The water has stopped, but there's no idea of a new challenge. <laughs> so what do we do with this here, man? I get it. Now we need to compete in the bottle flip challenge. Do you know it? But not the usual one. It will be water-based. But just wait. So the one who can throw the most bottles up on this platform right here will get a chance to warm up. So let me go first. Whoa. Okay, last bottle, guys. At least I got one point for sure. Now I will go next. But I really don't know how you guys could hit it. Guys, this is the last bottle. I never even got it onto the platform, you guys. All right, folks, now it's my turn to toss the bottles. One, two, three. Yay! Hoppa! My thoughts are somewhere. The challenge is over, so now the water should turn on, and I have zero points, while Bruno and Pashka have one point each. So apparently you are going to go warm up in the sauna. How long can we stay here? Well, let's say two minutes, okay? All right, come on, two minutes, and then we jump let's back. Let's go, let's go. Come on, Bruno, I'm already tired of waiting for you here. Oh, you did it right, you can't get burned the other way. Oh, no way. As you guys can see, 
the pool started to fill up with cold water again, and the boys are sitting over there in the sauna. I understand that they deserved it. Really, they were able to pass the bottle flip. But damn, you guys, it's so cold in here, really. At least this lamp is shining light on me. It's giving me a little bit of heat, at least. Just a little so that I don't die. Just imagine, bro, we will now return from the hot bath to this cold pool. But it will be so awesome. I guess because the contrasting temperatures will cheer us up, we will actively complete all the challenges. Well, actually, I believe it will be the opposite. Because now we are in the comfort, in the heat, and it's freezing water out there! But the most important thing, I think, is that we still have an advantage. We at least warmed up inside and our Tom is constantly in this cold water. I guess we've been filming it for five hours now and he will soon just give How up. How long have we been sitting here? Look, I think it's time to get out, yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Our Tom is already swimming there. We should check if he's alive, right? Our Tom! Our Tom! <laughs> Uh, Dan, I sleep! Ooh, ooh. How's the water? Dan, I sleep! Now wow, that's cheering, guys! No challenges in sight. The pool keeps filling up, you guys. I've already poured some water on Pashka and did the same with Bruno, but there's nothing else to Whoa. do. Whoa! What is that? This must be for me so that I don't drown, guys! But Bruno, come on, it's not even that deep in here! Hey, come on, what's happening? We obviously need these balls for something. Let's try and play with them. Let's just find out who can throw the most balls in the circle, which is behind me right now with him right standing in it. Hey, no, 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 no. This is my lifeline. This is my transport. Bruno, hey, let everybody else play. It's not just your rubber ring. It is for everyone, and it's not that deep. Look, I can't even reach the bottom. Everyone, let's start the game! Guys, we are standing on the opposite end of the pool and each of us has a basketball in our hands. So, let's try to score into this donut ring right now and the one that stands right in front of me will be the one. Alright, can I try now? Oh, well, there I was good. Well, you guys, I can definitely get it on the second try, I'm sure. So how many times will it be? How many rounds? Three? Three rounds? Okay. Up. Come on! Hey, it became much more fun to remain in the pool. Cool. Whoa! Boo! Well, that's cool. Hey, damn it! Bruno's ball messes with everyone. Pow, 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 pow! Okay, my turn. Ah! Uh, yeah, I got it twice. I hope I will also hit it in the second time. Oh, well, I didn't Ooh, get boom. it all right. Don't you even start. Guys, I won, so this lifeline is mine, okay? Okay, but can we have maybe something else? No way. Who is the winner? Who gets Come to Come on, Pashka, we can split it into two halves. What about sure. Bruno? Well, he won the circle. Ah. Can I have a piece of chocolate too? And you can have a piece of my lifeline. Give it to him until he start crying like a baby. Thank you, Artyom! He's really kind of strange today. Just look how much water has poured already. Soon it will completely close these holes from which the water actually comes in. Look, there is one demand for you. You just got some kind of female hair right here. What? Female hair? Yeah, those women were jumping all over me again. Ah! Hey, hey guys! Hey guys! What's wrong, Pasha? What happened to you? What's going on? I put my finger into the lamp because something was sparking in there, so I decided to check it and it hit me pretty damn hard! No way, Pashka! Oh, oh, oh. So, oh my gosh! That thing is you put in your fingers right into this lamp and you got electrocuted! Yeah, that's the case! Pasha, are you still being electrocuted? I'm still shaking here, try it! Damn, I'm like some Pikachu or what? Alright, listen, we need to get distracted here. So let's find out who can hold their breath underwater the longest. Yes, come on, Artyom, a good idea and an interesting challenge. Whoa! 
Although there is a lot of water here, you guys, but look at how deep it is here. And Bruno is still resting in this circle. That it's so unfair for us. So are we going to play or what? So who is going to spot you? Let me do it. OK, let's go, Artyom. Basha and I will dive right now. One, two, three. <gasps> Bashka is like a turd in here. He has a strange spot on his head, see? Please write. Let us know into the comments, is this okay, okay? It's just because that all of his hair is really blonde, but there's some kind of little dark spot on him. Bruno won, and it turns out that he will go on to the finals, you guys, so I will be competing with him. One, two, three. Making sure that you don't float away there. You were the first to swim up, so I tell oh, wins. Damn, it's so cool. But what did I win? No way! It's a what suit, you guys. Can we get some kind of prize maybe for second place too? Cause Bruno is really upset. Let's try and make him happy. Bruno, 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 don't be upset. Here's what you get for the second place. So there was never a second place, and now it turns out that we both get the prize? Yeah, yes, because it's a team of us. It suits you really well. It's looking really awesome, and it's got little fins. I feel like someone is constantly pulling my head. <laughs> okay, guys, let me put on my present. And as all of you can see, our pool is almost filled all the way up. This is not a joke, you guys. Look, we have right over here one, two, three, four sections, and none of us have dropped out of here yet because everyone is strong and fighting for victory. By the way, it's good that I have a wetsuit, you guys. I still somehow endured this cold, but Pashka seems to have his own layer there. As for Bruno, I don't know how he's tolerating it at all. You know, guys, despite all my liars, I still feel that my internal organs have already gone a cold. Uh, Artem was very lucky with the gift. He came first, and the fact that he got a bad suit also helps. Damn, guys, it's so cold in this pool. Let's come up with some kind of, I don't know, dynamic micro challenge to warm up at least a little. Uh, let's race who gets faster from this corner to that corner. So, guys, are you ready to begin? One, two, three. Oh. No. <gasps> Oh wow! Did you even notice that something appeared above us? There's a, some kind of tin can sealed with numbers. Whoa, some jars here. Oh, it seems to be a kind of new challenge or something. We have tin cans right in front of us. And if you look closely, each can has its own lock with a serial number. But it's really unclear where to put the key. Yes, indeed. How can we get the key? So? I uh, see okay. that they are all underwater now, so we need tools to get there, just like Artem has. Then, okay, let's each take turns swimming underwater and collecting the jars in one breath, you guys. And I can then go first, all right? I'll go first. I got over here one and two, three, four keys over here. All right, who goes second? Me, I want to do it. <sighs> well, what? I found two more keys, but ran out of air. Okay, I'm ready to dive. I found four sets of keys and that's it, I guess. Come on, let's have a look. 
maybe there are some bonuses that will make our life easier for the rest of the day in the pool. All right, so I got the keys with the numbers three and with the number six or nine. And there may be something hyper cool in the one of them and something totally not cool in the other. Here's the can with the number three and there's nothing in it. Right, exactly what I needed. Nothing again. Come on, damn it, what's the matter? Seems like I died for nothing. That's it, I don't want to wait anymore. Flash, where are you going, man? No. Flash. No, it's enough for me. I told you, I don't want to play anymore. That's it. Turns out that we stayed here alone with you. So let's see what I have in the jar over here, you guys. Oh, oh. I'm getting an ice cold cola. An ice cola in an ice pool? It's not the best prize ever, I think. Oh, they got it's hot tea, woo. I'll drink some cold cola and then have some hot tea. Empty. Last key left for me right here. And I have very, very high hopes for this. Chips! No way, you guys, look. And it turns that I want some chips and some ice cola and also hot tea. Damn, there are so many prizes falling out. I also have four cans, so now I'll get something nice for myself, right? There's nothing in here. So far, Bruno got nothing, and I'm already eating chips. Hey, look, look, you got some chips right over there. Oh, thanks, Artyom. Oh. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Ah, oh, there's nothing there. Empty. Well, you can have the last of these chips. Okay, here's the last can. Guys, I got a cookie, and I hope it's hot, because I really want to get warm in this pool. Oh my god. Thanks, uh, uh, can you warm it up a bit? And I also got a cola left. Want some? Okay. Here, friends should really, you know, help each other. And now there will be a prank! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it is really, really cold, and the person holding the camera told us that we should now find some bottles under the water, and they will have the clues about our next competition for us. That's what I'm saying right here. So what, should we dive down? On the count of three. Three. Woo! First, second, and the third. Look, I've got pliers and two sets of nails. And I have an inflatable banana. Subscribe now and chopsticks for sushi. I also have some tags, also a fork and an inflatable ring and a light. Guys, I already equipped myself riding my flamingo with a shield in my hands. Look at this fat light from Facebook and most importantly, a weapon which will help me to defeat Artyom. You guys, I have a subscribe button and some spear. It's the final battle, you guys. I'm telling you right now. Boy, your shield is so big. Come on, defend yourself. Come on, Bruno. Come on, Bruno, defend yourself, do it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> You're in big trouble, Arto. Nah, I'm all right. Be quiet over there. You have no idea how I can still fight. Yeah, uh -oh. yeah, uh -oh. I can still fight, you guys. You don't have no idea how I'm about to drown. Uh -oh. yeah. Yeah. Oh. What's wrong, Arto? Oh, my leg's cramped. What's up with you? Bruno, no, my leg is cramped. Bruno, Bruno, no, no. Arto! Artyom! <laughs> Bruno, my leg! Artyom, hold on! Uh, uh, hold on, Artyom! Uh, what did you have to learn to swim? Guys, I knew that time will definitely come when my help would be useful to someone. And exactly for this, I finally learned how to swim. Even though I won today in this video, you still get the prize. And here it is, right here. This awesome video that you can watch right now. Ah! Arjo! Ah! Click right here on this video. 